Hey YouTube, so today we are talking about something very topical and that is what to do on those rainy winter cold days. And we've got five things that actually turn this time of year from a bit of a, oh, I have to train too. I get to train, it's a great opportunity. <laughs> I think that this time of year can be one of those things that like just gets left to the bottom of the list. You don't wanna necessarily go outside where it's wet. You maybe want to avoid uh, just something feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe if we were training bet or if we were training easy, we don't wanna get our hands cold oh. because if they nip at them. Ah, it's it, the worst thing it ever. It just feels horrific. So. You know what? We know all the reasons why we don't want to train outside. What we want to do is find lots of cool reasons to train inside. So we're going to give you a couple of games that we might play on a miserable day. So a couple of yeah. things we might play. Now, this object could be anything, right, Tom? I'm going to start and you can talk. That could be anything. Yeah, it's it could only be this anything. It could be it, a really book. Plus. It can be, you know, a box. It doesn't matter. And actually, can you position it in such a way as when you throw a piece of food away, your dog comes back to find it and put their front paws on? And what you can do is you can play around with this a little bit and you can move it around. So every time they come back, they've got to find it with their front feet. And you can be a little bit mean. You know, you might even move it to like the right of you. She's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, she's like, this is bending my brain. And actually, this is a mental workout. You're like, oh, come on, that's easy. No, this is a real mental workout for your dog. It's weird. It's strange. They've got to figure it out. They've got to figure out what is it that I'm meant to be doing? I know, it's very super. <laughs> it's very oh, super. And they've got to realize it's not about, you know, putting their feet on the object when it's right in front of you in 12 o'clock position. It's about the object and the object moves around. Good. So, so game one, like you saw there, it is, it is good for the brain, isn't it? Yeah. It keeps them flexible. And you can see how you're supposed she to be somewhere. She demonstrated it She was great. Well. She, and at one point she was like, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> like real, real uh, interesting movement. Okay, game two, I might do the same picture, but maybe slightly different, do something else. So actually this time I'm gonna pop two blocks out. Let's see what we get. And these can be two of anything. You don't need to use what we, we're using. We're just gonna play with another game here, get it? Super. So I think she's gonna come in nice, ah. super, get it. And what you might have got it. I know. Ah, good girl, super. It. It's, she might have tried to put both feet on one, in which case <laughs> then, you know, you might want to bring them closer together, change the position Super. of your food so they, they split the feet super. and then start to separate those paw pods a little bit. Super. Good girl, eh? Very super, get it. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't get them out in time, Glass, literally. Okay. Yeah. I know, it's hard for someone. Yes, yeah, good girl, good girl super girl. Classic. So again, this is a mental workout. Super. It's gonna, you know, she's gonna be quite tired following this. And you're like, really? Doesn't like she do it. That is like mind bending. I have, have to say, a go. I got Matt to do Pilates this morning. I just thought it'd be a great idea. So Matt, for those of you who don't know, uh, he's my partner. And um, he was doing Pilates this morning. Honestly, he looked exhausted. He looked absolutely exhausted. Now Matt's a real gym goer. Like he loves his, uh, his running machines and his, his bike and he loves the the weights and the gym and everything. Pilates blew his brain, Tom. Like literally blew his brain because sometimes it's something that's completely mm. different movement or 100%. a completely different style. Okay, next indoor game, something that you can play indoors and something that you can play um, wait, maybe on a rainy day, mm -hmm. actually some boundary games, yeah. some non-event training, some boundary games. In fact, there's a video we could link to, yeah, isn't there? We we'll, boundary games and, and, and non-event boundaries. Yeah, absolutely. We'll link to some really useful teaching um, on, on exactly this kind of picture below this video so that you can have a go at this on a rainy day. I'd be playing things like this for her, which is effectively a level of non-event food training. So uh, something's happening, someone's knocking on the door, but actually we're just working on something. It was me knocking on the floor and um, non-event food training. She said, there must be someone at the door. There's no one at the door. Um, and I'll be playing some level of food follow. She still thinks there's someone at the door. It's convincing. Um, so um, a very convincing floor knock. That was the first floor knock. I think it was my floor knock. Um, I might play a little bit of aeroplane game, some food fiddle, uh, maybe a little bit of animated mouse. All of these games for a dog like Classic are fantastic for my boundary games. Equally, I might do something that I've needed to do lately with her a little because she hasn't wanted to always go to the boundary when I'm training another dog, have you? You thought this should be always your turn. So I might do a level of get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Because she doesn't always want to come back. She's not like uh, those of you who might have seen Blink or, or Bet or Easy who are really fast back to a boundary. Ready? Get it. So you put it on my throw out. 
Good girl. And actually just put a little bit of value back. Pass. Nice. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Um, so a little bit of boundary value and hopping back on the boundary. Pass. Night. Nice. I got you. I thought that you were going to be faster than that and then you weren't. Class. Nice. And all I thought there is I'm not going to always put, throw food out because actually I want her to want the value here. So I might test it a little. Play around with it. There's so much on boundary games, right, Tom? We've yeah. got so many different bits of content that you 100%. guys are going to be able to um, sort of check in on yeah. that, that we'd like to do that. Now, what, oh God, you've got one. Go on, then Next I've got one. one is this is a great opportunity to practice some things that maybe, you know, you, you just don't practice in the summer. Maybe something like some husbandry, some handling. Class. Maybe having getting your dog used to being touched, being handled, having their feet touched and seeing, and literally all we're doing is feeding, um, and it being a bit of like non-event. So it's like, we're not touching show her. dog? What do you think? I'm not convinced. Would you show her? I think she's showable. I think that's a fantastic... Maybe a scruff. That was very cute. Oh, rude. How very rude. Um, and the, Look um, at the, her. the point is, is you know, often we touch our dogs to do things to them. Actually, this is, a, this is a great opportunity to touch them and get a, wow, get a positive outcome. Yeah. So, um, I love again, it. another rainy day activity. And it's kind of easy training. Like, if you're, if you're having, I'm not convinced. <laughs> If you're having a <laughs> if you're having a bit of a, a low day where you know you've got a bit of lower energy, then you know make your life easier. I have to say, Tom, that helps my energy. <laughs> Look at that for energy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it when I do this. <laughs> it's like a whole new level of fun. Um, I'd say another one that um, for me would be a great um, sort of rainy day confidence game. And I haven't ever done this with her, actually. So she's not really lacking in confidence so much. But it's not bad one to top up. Is actually, can she um, just go under the leg? Mm. Nice little game for in the, in the house. Uh, and also for her, it's a level of like almost a commando crawl. Notice that she wanted to go back around and not change direction. So from a flexibility point of view, I would uh, brain flexibility that is, I would see that she can go back that way. I know you'd like to go around that way now, wouldn't you? So I'm going to bring her here. I'm going to just do a little bit of body sort of fun games. And I love the way she's moving and sort of crawling underneath. So that's a really nice little commando. It's very cute commando crawl. Very cute. Can you do one more commando for everyone? Everyone likes your commando. You look like stealth mode, like you could be. <laughs> one minute she's a show dog, the next minute she's in the Royal Navy. Eh? What you reckon? Look at that. And so I guess <laughs> what we're saying is, you know, these might class, not be class. games that you would ne would necessarily be your go-to game. I think that show game would be my go-to now. In the summer as well? Oh, cool. I love the tail. Um, yeah. I love the tail. Um, and, um, and yet the winter class. and the rainy days and it's, you know, it's cold and rainy out here today and you've got the opportunity to practice some great skills like the one you are seeing so that's, with that youtube that's... make sure to share this video because you know what worst case prospect. and worst case scenario people are going to laugh and at the end of the day if all people get from this today is to laugh a bit more then we are happy because whether you're laughing with us or at us you know what laughter Very is easy. good it's healthy if you haven't already shared this like tom said whether it's with a show person who's got show prospect just like our beauty behind us <laughs> Yeah. or whether it is uh, someone who uh, would like uh, some super cool games when it's a bit miserable outside and you want something more fun to do inside. At the end of the day, make it easy for yourself. Make it easy for you to win. Make it easy for you to get a training session in the bag. Make it super simple for you to be able to top up that training and, and win effectively, be successful in it without making it uncomfortable. At the end of the day, not all of us want to get cold, soaking wet or muddy. And actually, it's okay to do your training in an easier scenario. That's absolutely cool to do. So we will see you next time, YouTube. We have loved having you. Make sure you share it. We'll see you soon. See you soon, guys.